教えてやろうぜサスケアニメは、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、まあ、Let's kick things off with Achilles with k r o n in Fate Apocrypha. When a student and his mentor pick a fight on you, you know it's going to be cool. When the two parties of the Battle Royale clash, Achilles and k r o n face off on a duel in an epic clash of fists. Both of them were Greek heroes, which meant both were very well versed in combat. From the opening move itself, it was very clearly visible how much of a skill both of them had. And until the very final move, I couldn't figure out who would win the fight. Apocrypha showed how much talent they had in fight choreography during the battle between Sieg and Kana. And even though many People still sing praises of it. I still feel like this moment of Achilles and k r o n is highly underrated. It's one of those moments where the fists do the talking, and the whole scene felt like a tribute to all the Greek myths we heard about the two heroes. Coming up next is the Kogami vs. e r Makishima. Let's move from student versus teacher to a fight between rivals. This list is going to be no short of rivals' fights, but Kogami and Makishima get a special spot due to its choreography alone. Both of them fight in a limited space, but they use their fists and legs in ideal balance to do maximum damage to their opponents. In this fight, the tables are turned, and Makishima seems to have the upper hand. And for the first time, this villain proved he is skilled with his fists the same way he's skilled with his hands. If Akane didn't intervene with a broken helmet, Makishima would have finished the job. But the good guys in the anime always have luck flying around them. At number 8, we have Nagisa vs. e r Karma. Well, what do you know? Assassination classroom isn't always about assassinations. Or perhaps a good assassin should develop some good hand to hand combat skills along the way. Either way, when Nagisa is faced off against the prideful Karma, one has the willpower to win the fight, and the other has a mad pleasure just to take part in the fight. You've got no special moves, no over exaggerated military tactics. It's just two students trying to win the fight using their physical strength alone. The fight goes tie to tie until Nagisa. Comes down, but this is anime, and willpower always wins. Rising back up, Nagisa brings down Karma much faster, and even when the boy says the fight is over, Nagisa keeps strangling him. Why? Just to look cool, of course. Nagisa. Hajime no Epo is a masterpiece when it comes to fighting, and the little boxing ring inside this anime has held more adrenaline and hype than you've ever had in your life. There are plenty of fights for me to pick from, but the one I like the most is the moment Takamura gave that final beating to Hawk. This fight seemed like a thing the character's entire existence depended on, and one with far more backstory than others. The fight kicks off with a regular hyped feeling, but the one that enhances it is the last few moments. Takamura standing up and giving that one final punch seems to feel like the perfect anime moment we all wanted. That one single punch was packed with adrenaline, and the fight built up to that for nearly one episode. And from the first hit to the last, Takamura managed to show who's the boss inside the boxing ring.
Men with ripped muscles fighting each other to death? Yep, that's Baki in a single line for you. The guys may be business suit wearing gentlemen in the first few minutes, but when their shirts rip and their muscles pop out, you can expect a fight to match Roman gladiators. It's the same formula of Baki repeated over and over again in this fight as well. But let's admit it, the formula never gets old. This time we've got two giants clashing fists and it's nothing short of a spectacle. It's gory, it's flashy, and most of all, it hurts. Or it looks as if the punches hurt. This fight had one clear winner and it's no surprised that the guy who got his ass kicked was brutalized to his death. In other words, you can call Baki just another Hajime no Ippo without a boxing ring. Sometimes the best fights don't come from Japanese anime alone. And though we have another good example to prove it, this time I want to speak about Ota's fight with the masked outcasts in Hitori no Shita. Do I need words to describe this anime? It's just a pure visual slugfest. I mean, look at how their arms move. It's like each of these frames was hand-drawn to the point to make it feel real. This is one of those anime fights you can easily forget is animated because everything feels real from the choreography to the fighting styles. And note that this is also a three versus one fight and Ota has a lot resting on his shoulders. But this guy is cool enough to kick the asses of all three of them at once and still put the cap on his head. Moving along, we have another fight from the man who animated Ota's fight scene, and that is Naruto vs Sasuke's fight with Momoshiki. Two rivals finally teaming up together to take down the big bad guy. Doesn't that feel great? Oh, and did I forget to mention that these two rivals are the ones who held the most popular shonen character titles in the early 2000s? Naruto and Sasuke had never fought together after the fight with Kagaya, but thanks to Momoshiki's rather idiotic idea to take down these two all by himself, we got to see a glorious hand-to-hand -hand combat fight scene that could bring tears to any childhood Naruto fan. But these characters are now matured, which meant their power levels were even greater than before. And it also felt like a tribute to see both of them use the same jutsus and tactics as before, and even finish Momoshiki off with a sword strike. Once again, proving Chinese anime can take the top spot when it comes to animation is the fight between Zhuan and the Peacock Demon. Frog Hill of Five Elements is definitely an underrated series. But its fight sequences can stand apart from many Japanese anime releasing these days. And you will be surprised to know all of this was animated by just six people in a studio. That statement itself is a world record, because this fight is nothing short of amazing. You've got ground combat, air combat, abilities, quick camera movements, brilliant choreography, all layered in with crisp, clean, fast and sweet animation that can blow anyone's brains in surprise. This anime has gained some traction as more people saw the fight scenes in it, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it get the attention it deserves. Lives. Let's remove all superpowers, all muscles, all those fancy visuals and mind-blowing CGI effects. And then you've got Spike versus Vincent's fight in the Cowboy Bebop movie. This is similar to Kogame's fight with Makishima, but things kicked one degree higher. One reason this fight stands special is the way it makes you feel every kick and punch. You know, every punch hurts. And with the choreography and sound effects, the fight scene very much resembles a real-world fight. It is surprising how we got this much animation quality in an anime that is older than 10 years, but those old animators always knew how to surprise us. These may be two ordinary people without superpowers fighting each other, and that is the exact reason why it is so amazing and visually appealing.
This one should be no surprise. We've spoken about rival fights in anime, but nothing can rival Kakashi's fight with Obito. There are so many aspects about this fight scene that is so great that it can fill another whole video. Unlike most fights on this list, there are no spectacular visuals or soundtracks to heighten the tension. In fact, there's just one melancholic soundtrack to the whole scene, and this is exactly what plays for the advantage. Like other hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes, the Kakashi vs Obito fight isn't shown to generate hype, it is shown to prove how much these two childhood friends have changed over the course of time. Both were betrayed by tragedy, but the two of them took it in separate ways. This is one of the reasons why Naruto fights stand out, and even among all the fights in this series, we have to admit that this fight is the best. <laughs> So, there goes 10 of the best hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes in anime. Let me know what you liked down below, and don't forget to voice your own opinions in the comments. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can stay updated as soon as we release a new video. Stay safe, anime fans, and I'll see you in the next video.